Okay, now I'm back with the AS Rock uh, slash E Machines. I went ahead and put that DVD in there to see if it has um, an install option. I got curious. I couldn't remember. I know I've messed with it before when I first got it and put it in and all that stuff. Sometimes I think I remember how things were and I don't, so I always have to check a triple, quadruple check everything. Um, so it's booting up there and uh, there's no operating system oh, well actually yeah there is there's the uh, the other second hard what would be the second hard drive now in the boot order uh, the one that has the installed and uh, yeah install windows so that's what it booted up to uh, I don't know if it did that because it saw the empty drive the, the first drive uh, STB1 or C drive in windows would be uh, empty deleted the partitions in it so um, I could use this if I wanted to install boy it's making a horrible noise that's one reason why I like USBs because you don't have to listen to all that noise I think it's really making noise <coughs> so yeah uh, if you you know if you have to keep listening to that for a couple hours to do an install it can start bugging you so uh, there's an option if I want to go with 32-bit. I know this will work because this is the uh, uh, license key. You know, this is what I have. This is what came came with it. And like I said, it, it came with Vista, and uh, they had to order that from the. Came from some weird company. It wasn't even who they bought. You know, they bought it from a department store, and it came from the, with the CD, DVD came from some weird company. So. Um, with not with the name I never heard of, you know. So anyway, um, that's one thing I could do. But now, uh, now that I'm, uh, um, not able to do 64-bit like I wanted, then I don't think. What I'm trying to say is, I think my I'm pretty sure my license is gonna only work with the 32-bit version since that's what was sent to them, you know, in this kit. So they call it a kit. Uh, the CD uh, DVD package here it was just, it says it's uh, on the front of the CD uh, I always call it CD even when it's a DVD on the front of it it says 32 bit only so uh, the only good thing about putting Windows back on there is it uh, you know all my phone files are in that NTFS drive of course I could still repair what's on there but I kind of got the, like in the idea of uh, giving myself more space, so I thought, yeah, I'll put whatever I put on here, I'll put it on that separate 30 gigabyte drive, and then just delete all this junk from the infected one that was infected. And still, there's no guarantee that there's not some telltale root kits and stuff, you know, hanging around in that thing too. So if I start running Windows on it again, they will start uh, spreading around again. I, but uh, and also Windows, if I do install Windows, I've learned something when I built that system for these people. Um, when I, I set up um, Windows 7 Pro on it, uh, and uh, Fedora, it was a Corora, a remix of Fedora 20 at the time. And um, I put uh, Windows 7 at the beginning of the hard drive, it was a one terabyte hard drive. Then I made a partition in the middle for uh, a backup drive, and then I made another partition for uh, Fedora, Corora, Corora, Fedora. And then I used Lucky Backup, because it'll work in Windows and Linux, to back up back to that NT. And I made it NTFS because it's a lot easier uh, to get. See, Windows won't even see uh, Linux partitions. You have to add an app, and the only app that I've seen so far will work with EXT2 and 3 but not EXT4 so I just thought well I'll make it NTFS and they can both uh, read and write to that but I didn't realize that when you're writing a lot of data or at least at that time that was two or three years ago when you're writing a lot of data and I was using you know quite a bit of ba uh, data to back up all their pictures and stuff like that uh, it, w it was very extremely painfully slow it took like two days to back up you know like I don't know, 100 gigabyte, we'll say, of data off the Linux side, and and, and but the Windows, uh, you know, seven, it, pretty, you know, decent speed, nothing to bother you that much, 
Uh, but once I got it backed up, then of course it wasn't writing huge amounts of data at a time, and then the backup didn't run too long. But I had to let that machine run over, I think, a day and a night and a day or something like that to finally finish that backup. So, um, anyway, um, that is the only other reason why I might want to go ahead and put Windows back on this. Not the only other reason. That's another reason. Uh, because if I put Fedora on there, uh, then, uh, you know, writing to the NTFS drive, writing my phone files and stuff, uh, when I'm backing up my phone, could be slow. Uh, although I've been doing it over the network because I was using my phone, uh, yeah, my my phone backup, whatever it is. It's a, it's a, it's an, uh, it's got an Android uh, server and a Windows client. That's all it has is a client, and it's pretty cool. And I was using it to back up, but it, the settings in it would only duplicate. You know, like you'd have more than one copy of a file on that. It was just filling it up. I wanted uh, single copies, so uh, I just started using Crusader from my regular Fedora machine across the network, and uh, just plugging the phone in and doing it manually because I was, you know, so I wouldn't have so many copies. So yeah, hey, I just remembered that. So I guess if I put Fedora on here, then I could just do it straight from that machine. The only thing is, is I don't, uh, I don't like to leave it plugged in to the. VGA cable and the USB cable because I want to leave it on my laptop. I have the four port switch like I'm always talking about, my KVM switch. Uh, but I have more machines than four in here, so um, I have to. Got my server always on uh, all the time, and I leave it where I can get to it quick, plugged in. Of course, it's hard to get back there to unplug them. That one, I'm going to be able to get to it quick. And then, so I usually have to leave it just plugged into my laptop. But then, if I want to get to any of these down here, there's two more. Those, those WISEs over there. Uh, I don't have the power. The power supplies are out in the garage somewhere. I can't find them. But, and I'm getting ready to start working on another machine. So there'll probably be another machine over there. So I have three, four machines to to share one. I have to keep plugging and unplugging anytime I want to use them. And I can get to those down there from around back of the rack. It's not too bad. It's not too great either. But anyway. Um, okay. So, talking on the video. Thinking on the video. Doesn't, make, doesn't matter, does it? Just figure it out. Alright, bye.